Hi there, I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. So, continuing on with our team of the year, we are going to choose our left back of the year. I think our shortlist names, Dane Massey, Dara Leahy, Shane Griffin, mm -hmm. and... We had a couple of honourable mentions. Bernal. I think you have them on there. Yeah, Berno as well gets a few mentions. Oh, uh, Ian yeah, Berno yeah. for the from from the locals. Uh, Sean Kavanagh as well. I didn't think I didn't think he was great. He's more of a winger in my opinion. I think he was just thrown at left back. Yeah, he was put there after Trevor got that ACL injury. And now, had he have been in the team, I think he might have won. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure. He got Young Player of the Year last year, so he was. All Rovers fans thought that before Graham Burke went over that Trevor Clark would be the next person to cross the water because how promising his 2017 season was. But, yeah. So, um, Sean Kavanagh was... See, Sean Kavanagh at Fulham was a left-back for a while. But then, as he came back, as he later in his career, when he started getting loaned out, he started being a left-mid. And he came to Rovers, and he a, as we know, as we've seen, he's a great left-foot, so left-mid was a suited position. But due to Luke Byrne and Trevor Clark being injured, Sean Kavanagh went back there, and he didn't perform badly. So. He didn't. He didn't perform to to make me go well. Yeah, yeah he, he's not the best. It's not team of the year for it's, for me. Yeah. Um, without being disrespectful, I think yeah. there's other left backs that have done kind of more consistent uh, yeah, yeah. over the course of the season. I Good. think I think I think Jarvis done well when he, whenever he was he was needed to come in and cover um Dane Massey at, mm. at Dundalk. I thought he'd done quite well. Um, I would have Dane ahead of him. Um. Obviously, and got into the team of the year was was Darry Lee, and I thought he was fantastic. Um, since we started w watching him anyway, obviously he made his real breakthrough against yourselves. Oh yeah, last minute, the late winner, yeah. Oh, what obviously, a night! What, That's a couple of it's mentioned in the stories there. Oh, what a night, Lee. He, um, who would your choice be then? Yeah, I'm gonna go around the, the honorable mentions before okay, I give my because there's no point in otherwise you'll just ruin it. Um. <laughs> I think Shane Griffin. He played in Europe. You know, Corker in the in the cup final. I think he deserves a mention. I think it'd be mad not to give him a mention. Mm. Uh, trying to think of who else playing left back. Burmo Burmo is very good player. You can see he's got quality. Great left foot. But for me, in terms of where Pat's finished, and you know, they for me, they went through a big slump. And he's their captain and leader. And for me, he didn't really show a lot to kind of get them over the slump. So that's just my kind of opinion on it. But if I'm if I'm kind of looking at uh, in my top two, I'm not revealing who my pick is till the end. But in my top two, I'd have you can't really look past uh, Dane Massey for you know another league title uh, after bouncing back from last season. You know, Cork winning the double. And he was captain for a lot of the, a lot of the um, a lot of the games because Brian Gatlin was injured. So obviously then there's Dara Lee, but I'd just be interested to kind of hear what what you guys think of like Shane Griffin, Burmo and, and the likes. Yeah, like Burmo is very much the kind of very tidy, you know, almost wand. It's the cliche, the wand of a left foot, um, up and down that wing quite a bit. You know, there's been you know a couple of games where we watched him alone where. You know he's involved heavily. Whether it might be direct assist, but he, he's very much uh, responsible for opening up a lot of the play with just little flicks down the line or whatever. He's very tidy that way. But as you said, Pat's slumped hor horribly, really, for large periods of the, of the season. And we're not, and we're not saying that in a bad because we 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 did want Pat to do oh, yeah, well. Like, we remember going know, down there saying, "Oh, I'd love for them to kick on." Yeah, no, it's like, as we keep on saying, we go down there quite a lot, and we're always welcome with the fans and everyone at the club. So. Um, it's it's no disrespect in the, in that regard. It's just unfortunately, I think that the, and all Pats fans will will admit this. They really, really, you know, struggled miserably towards the end of the season. There, there was, we've been down there some nights where it's just been doom and gloom whatsoever. There's people leaving early. There's small crowds. Um, yeah, like put it this way, there's a re there's a re development needed on that team in the summer uh, and quick. Well, they've started with new manager. So. Yeah, well, like it's the first first thing to change there. Um, hopefully they kick on because you know as we said many times, there's a lot of talent talented players there. If they can just kick on and you know, even despite the 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 slumps of bad results, there was periods of games where they not every game, but there was a periods of a lot of the games where they played quite well. They just couldn't finish or you know they couldn't materialize the performance and put that performances in, into results and you know their league position. 
kind of sums up where how bad the, the, it has been and they're looking around at other teams they must be looking up the road at bows and saying you know they were kind of we almost at the start of the season for large periods were kind of you know the two teams are very alike they were putting in similar type of performances where they were kind of dominating games without finishing them off no, and, kind of yeah and bows kicked on they they made that next step and they've kicked on and have ended the season real positive we were down there on friday night very positive results you see all the fans on the pitch afterwards it's um you know pats need to need need that kind of step like that and hopefully they'll get it in the summer um if you go back like obviously we try and you know stretch it out for a bit of debate but it's it's hard to go past the two in Leahy and and massey um i think you're gonna struggle really to stretch it out along along, along the debate any more than that um, what's your opinion Luke? You can't really argue with the top two. Dane Massey is solid as usual, and Darley he came to the scene and got in the team. So that's really what you got to say is just he's just a cracking player. Like for such to come back from England and make that impact on the league, only few players do. Like we've seen lots of players come back and read really the league's eating them up, but Darley's really taken and destroyed. And then I you have to mention Shane Griffin because that title winning season last year he was unbelievable, but this season. It was sort of the same story for Cork really. It was good but it wasn't it wasn't great. And then but, but, but inconsistency I would Inconsistency, say. yeah. Even though you look at our performances in Europe and it was just it was it was just not it was not really what it should have been. It was a bit disappointing. And then obviously Ian Birmingham is a great left back and you saw all the money Pat spent in the winter and all the various they signed Kevin Toner and they had, they looked like they had a solid team coming in, they could be challenging but it didn't materialise and as we know, Ian Berman was captain. He, he played well, but it wasn't outstanding like the likes yeah. of Dane Massey. And it was never Darley. a wow moment there. Really, yeah, it was, it? it was really one step forward, two steps back in a sense. It was one good result, and the next week it'd be disappointment. And the, really, the league position says that at the end. And you look at Bowes, like, they probably work in off a less, lesser budget than Pats and what they did with their squad. Such a young squad, and it's, yeah, it's just disappointing, really, if you're a Pats fan. You expect better. Yeah, well, if you had to choose, it would be your pick. You could probably go three, two, one again if you like. Three, two, one. Well, third for me, Shane, Shane Griffin. Yeah, as I say, he played well. But we know that Cork teams are better. Um, Dane Massey, solid league winner and left back. He's been every week putting, doing a shift. A captain for a majority of the season, but overall, Darley, he's really come on the scene and wowed, wowed me particularly. So yeah, Darley, he gets it for me. Do you wow you with that goal? I oh, definitely would. A lot of uh, response. Oh, I, no, I didn't wow you. No, <laughs> <laughs> no comments. No comments. It was a good, a good finish, though, wasn't it? Oh. How about you, Johnny? Uh, I'm actually having a little bit of a debate in my head. My top two is 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 set. I'm not struggling, but it was a position that you know was one of those where I, th- I had to think a lot more. At a push, probably Berno, uh, Birmingham at, at at number three. Um, number two and one or two was a was a toss up really. Um, thought about this a lot. I'll probably go Leahy number two, and just because he was so nice just the other night. <laughs> I know I'm only jo- <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, no, I've been you know a big fan of Dame for for quite a while now, and you know when his team really needed him, he was always that um influence on the pitch. As you as we said, there he's captain for large periods. Was always the cooling influence. You'd always see him talking to the players. You'd always see him if the someone needed a bulk and he'd give them. There was just, it was everything was was like there could be absolutely mayhem going on around the pitch, but he was still calm and collected. Well, I don't know. No, I've seen him against Cork a few times this season. Oh, Cork, look, wasn't calm now. Cork is a is, is an exception. And I love that more yeah. than anyone. But Cork is an exception. I think that sees the red rag to the ball there yeah. for a lot of them. But by and large, you look. I'm thinking of even up in. I think we watched them up in Daily Mount, was it where you know there's a lot of you know get a lot of grief off the fans or whatever. Or, or I think it might have even even the Pats game as well where everything was going wrong for them. They were one 0 down at half time, but yet he's that guy and influence and you know just a steady Eddie, very reliable left back up and down, up and down, and um, yeah, he's uh, and and he's an absolute gent as well to, to put on top of it. So um, Dan, you get my vote. Mm, I really have to throw me in the fucking works here, right? <laughs> <laughs> so someone's gonna throw you under a bus now. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go probably go third, Bermo. Um, just because I haven't seen Griffin a lot, and you know when the moments that kind of stood out for me and the games I kind of watched him 
in any kind of big big enough game. He kind of got roasted. Like, Daniel Kelly made a show of him at I Rose. was thinking of that, yeah. yeah and yeah. against Rosenberg, he got made a show of as well. So, they were, they were two high-profile games mm-hmm. that kind of stick out in my head. Yeah. Whereas, when I watched uh, Burma, he always looked comfortable. Yeah. And he always... Um, he always kept the ball, regardless. He, 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 he'd always give it simple, or if he needed to, he could use the wand, as you say, <laughs> and uh, find a find a red or a blue uh, jersey. So um, I go with that. Uh, see, the only thing is, I don't want to put a full back four of of a of a dumb dog, which is probably going to happen. <laughs> probably not definitely, but um, definitely maybe. So. No, I'm going to go with my original pick and I'm going to go Dane second. Sorry, Dane. Never get an interview with him again. Sorry, Dane. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go Darley first. Purely just for the fact that the the, the huge run that they went on, uh, Bows, and they were magnificent. Um, those games, I remember watching, we went to, I think, three or four of those games and he really stood out for me. Uh, so, yeah, look, and Dane didn't stand out for you now. Well, you see, I'm expecting it from him. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Good answer. Good it's answer. Very hard to stand out with that Dundalk team, to be fair. I'm yeah. expecting it from, but there was a lot of times where Jarvis played as well. So, um, when when Lee came in, he was just. If you if you're going for for an overall season, I suppose I would have to go more Dane. But if I'm going for the second half of the season, he stood yeah. out that much more. That makes me put him in. Yeah, like so, it's a, it's a toss up. I think really, that's a fair you know, answer. Like if you, if you had it's like the, we spoke about the keepers. If you had either of them in your team, you're not really going to be complaining, are you? Yeah, exactly. And the fact that he captained them for for the majority of the time, Robert and Garton was out and you know did a magnificent job. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking about that because I feel really bad. Um, <laughs> Some let us fun. know your thoughts in the comments. Dane, especially it? let us know your thoughts. Yeah, he probably won't watch it now. <laughs> but uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, who would you have as left back? Even though you can't change it now, but uh, <laughs> I think Darley is the is the is the winner. Uh, myself and Luke, and he got he got the majority of the votes as well on, on the on the yeah, Instagram. Like, yeah, and uh, the, the P are the player the, the team's player of the year as well. Right? So, yeah. yeah, so. There you have it anyway. Uh, Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button now. And if you never want to miss a video, click the bell for alerts. For all our other social media platforms, check out this list below. And as always, thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. We're going to go through some names and we're going to kind of probably 